I'm pulling my macaroons off the baking paper and a lot of them are sticking. I'm not going to get this tower up and I'm really worried. I can feel my dream slipping away from me. Oh my god, this is like death by macaroon. Oh, my stress levels start to climb when they start sticking because I'm thinking I've got so much to do and I'm also thinking if the first batch is going to stick then chances are all, all of six trays will stick and I'm not wrong. They're having problems getting them off the uh, trays. I mean, it's what correct. can they do? You, you... They messed up um, for the cooking. Yeah. It's from the oven, which is, yeah. no, it's nothing. They can just fix it. They should have cooked it more? Exactly. Yeah. They're very sticky, yeah. yeah. Well, I can see then for both of you guys, they are getting pretty sticky. I'll give you a tip. We're going to use a blast freezer. Yeah. You're going to put them a couple of minutes, and you will see. You will take them out like... Perfect. Thank really you very easy. much. Graham suggests a solution of putting them in the blast freezer, and um, then they should be able to come off a bit easier. Are they not too bad? Initially it works, but as they sit on the bench for more than two or three minutes, they re-stick. No, they're not coming off. Hey, Jax. Hi, yay. This is sticking. Yes, really it's so sticking. It's a hard time right now. It it's a hard, hard time, time right you know. Yeah. You can't go back. No. Oh, this is a nightmare. So I just, I just slide them underneath and think, I'll just have to make do with what I have. Jackson, Nadia, I can't emphasise how fast you should be moving. You've got 50 minutes left, and Guillaume suggests that you're going to need a minimum, absolute minimum, of half an hour to put your tower together. So that means you've got 20 minutes to be doing that. Yes, so yes. if you think you're moving fast, think again. Work, Jax. Oi, oi. You gonna make it, Nadia? I'm sure gonna as hell try. I'm going as fast as I possibly can. I've got about 250 bits of ganache to put on macaroons, and yeah, it's a very time-consuming process. And I'm just trying to go as fast as I can, but I'm still not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this macaroon tower up in time. As soon as I've got all of these cherry ones done, I'll get on to the strawberry ones, and then it's almost pretty much time to assemble. Two women who are pretty incredible at what they do um, just keep drawing out of an empty barrel to, you know, complete a challenge that is just immense. It's massive. The next step in assembling the tower is first to put your buttercream over the polystyrene cylinder and to that you're going to stick all the macarons around it. I'm just plastering my um, tower with buttercream so that I can stick my uh, macarons to the tower. I think it's quite important to get the buttercream quite smooth all around the cylinder because if it's too thin, the macaroons aren't going to stick. If it's too thick, they might stick out or they might the, some of the buttercream might squidge out the sides. OK, so let's do this. We start with a Looking good. pink one. Looking good, Jax. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. get that first one on, buddy. Pink one. Go on, Jax. Go on, Jax. It's a rhythm now, Jax. We don't want it bumpy. 30 minutes to go, guys. 30 minutes left. Come on, Nadia. It's not the time to be fluffing around. Don't do this to me now. I need a tower up in 30 minutes. You're going to get it. Don't worry. I am worried. Jax is ahead of me at this point. She's already started to assemble her tower um, about 5, 10 minutes before I get to start. I'm a little worried. Uh, I've, I've got the six point lead, but I could potentially lose if I don't get the macaroon tower up and she does. So I just go into speed mode, start assembling it and getting into a rhythm, really. You've got 25 minutes to finish. You've done mise en place all day, and what you're doing now is the beautiful finish for the tower that is going to look like Guillaume's. The very first line that I do, I'm doing really well until I get to the very last macaroon to put in and it doesn't fit in the space. So then I start getting all the macaroons that are placed and pushing them closer together so that there's no gap between any of them. It's kind of like Lego in a bit of a way because you've got to make sure every one of them is pushed in at the right place because if it's not, it keeps building up on top of each other. This is shaping up to be quite a close challenge and we both really want it, so it's going to be down to the wire. Seven minutes to go. Nearly finished. 
Well, in MasterChef would mean the world to me. I've definitely got enough macarons. Yeah. I get all the walls up and then I start putting the wires in because we need to have some macarons on the end of the wire uh, hanging off. Five minutes to go, everybody. Five minutes. I put the macarons on um, horizontally rather than vertically like Guam's. I suddenly realise, oops, I've done it the wrong way. But you know what? Mine still looks good like that, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm feeling really chuffed that I managed to prove to myself that no, no matter what age you are and no matter what your dream is, you can do it. Two minutes to go, guys. Only two minutes to the end of MasterChef. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited about finishing. I feel euphoric and I feel exhausted all at the same time. There's one and see if it's OK. That looks gorgeous, Jeff. <gasps> I suddenly see that Guillaume's tower of macarons actually has a top layer. I didn't realise that. So I quickly rush back to my bench and I'm thinking, you know, you always leave everything to the last minute. You've got 30 seconds, Nadia and Jax. Just 30 seconds left. You can do it, guys. Come on, finish it off. Get it done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Nadia and I hug each other because it's the end of an era. It's the end of 17 challenges. <laughs> We've both done it. We've both got through it. Yeah, it's just awesome. And our macaroon towers look amazing. <laughs> just give me the countdown badges. I want to go home. <laughs> they had their hugs and stuff, and then I just looked at Fiona, and I'm like, one of them's moving. Suddenly, I hear a plop on the floor. 